Hey y'all, your pal Dirty here uh, in Florida land, in Florida, in my camper. Um, I'm always in my camper because that's what I do. Hang out in the camper unless I'm off on a bike gallivanting around or making a dollar or trading some services or whatever it is, you know. Y'all know what the hell I do or maybe you don't, or maybe you don't because you never really know, I mean. This shit here on the internet ain't real fucking life, in case y'all didn't know. I mean, I try to be transparent as I can with my life, and um, I think I do a fairly good job of it. And, um, but even still, you never really know what um, goes on in other people's heads or what drives them or what they're fully about because, well, simply because you ain't them. I mean, you haven't lived their life. You don't know what they've been through, what motivates them to... Or what has motivated them and then driven them to the point where they're at. Um, you simply can't know those things. And, and for people to pass judgment on people because of this, that, or the other thing. Without ever having met someone. Unless they have extensive knowledge. I mean, it's just wrong. I mean, now there's people out there that make it very clearly well known what they feel and what they think. And um, judge the fuck out of them. Hey, do the same to me. I make it fairly clear how I feel about most things. But while it's clear how I feel, um, I don't know that it's clear how I've gotten to that place. And and actually, I know it's not fully clear what... Uh, it's much more complex. It ain't as simple as people want to put on it. And life never is. Human emotion, human, um, human thought is not that simple. I myself uh, may come across one way, but feel entirely different. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who think I'm quite bigoted and racist and this and that. And it couldn't be farther from the truth. I mean, if you watch my blog and you see the content I post, um, while it is, it can be narrow at times, as other times if you've followed me for any amount of time, you'll, you know that it's quite broad and my influences and inspiration is the, is the best, is the main thing that you can offer to this world. And that's what I get you know i have inspirations reaching far and wide everything from reggae music and punk rock and bob marley and the goddamn angry samoans all the way to david allen co hank three and living in the south at my core i am a southern white male i was born in the south i'm of um of white european heritage and my type of person is is what i am you know that is what is put me here I was raised by people of that background does that mean I don't appreciate other people's cultures does that mean I haven't lived within them and don't haven't allowed them to influence me absolutely not any intellectual person any intelligent person um, takes the good the bad from whatever situation they encounter and allows it and assesses it and then um, either allows it to influence them or not or lets it influence them negatively or positively. I myself look at all different cultures and um, find inspiration in many different cultures. And when I do find that inspiration, I take the parts and bits and pieces that help me. Um, like I said, I've been every at so many positions in my life. I'm 35 now. At, in my early 20s, I, you wouldn't have recognized me. I was a, a Florida white boy, you know, dreadlocks, Rasta, skateboarding, living at the beach, this and that. Does that mean that has nothing to do with who I am now? No. Because that was a path I took. Uh, the world is ever changing and evolving. and um, Which leads me to another point. You know, you take people who in their youth or in their younger days might be quite tolerant. Um, not in their younger days, I guess it's generational because when I was born. But, um, you know, I was seemingly much more tolerant and dare I say open-minded, not that I'm not open-minded now, but I'm at a point in my life where I realize a lot of facts and see things differently than I do when I was an idealistic teenager or 20-something. I'm still very idealistic, but I have different knowledge and I have seen things that has um, convinced me that you can be idealistic all you want and you can live in your little fantasy dream world, but that shit ain't fucking reality. And all the left wing is offering is, is that hopes and fucking dreams. And hopes and fucking dreams are a beautiful thing. I love them. I live on hopes and dreams. But that shit, it ain't reality. And you got to have some basis for reality. And you got to know 
that uh, everybody out there is not for you. There are people that are against you, um, directly, indirectly, people who are ignorant and don't even understand the grand scheme of things, and people who do not value other cultures. I myself, I value other cultures. I think we have a place in this world for every per every every culture. Um, maybe not on the same fucking continent, but in this world, there is a place for all the different beautiful cultures and uh, generally contained within their own selves. I, um, like I said, I'm a tribalist. I live here in Florida. I am most comfortable surrounded by people like me. Dirty South, fucking uh, punk rock influenced outsiders, bikers, scum fucks, whatever you want to call it, whatever it is. You know, meet me or whatever, and then we'll assess it and see who likes who. But I don't judge people based on um, tiny things. Base them on a, either a large base of evidentiary value or base them on personal interaction. Other than that, live your own fucking life and don't let nobody, uh, don't let nobody knock you off what you're trying to do. Uh, I myself, I found me a nice little chill spot where I'm pretty free to be who I am. And, um, and that's what I'm going to do till the day I die, because I can't be nobody but me, and I wouldn't be good at anything else other than being myself. So, that's some good thoughts. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. If you don't, then fuck off, don't listen. Or if you do, then thanks for the support, or whatever. I'm going to be me. Adios. Thanks a lot, guys.